Here's how to think about HP's bet in buying a struggling Palm. HP is the biggest computer maker in the world. The future of computing is smartphones. HP, for a variety of reasons, is nowhere on smartphones. Its technology relies on Microsoft software, which has turned HP and its iPack, which it bought when it got compact, from being a major player in smartphones to irrelevant in smartphones. By buying Palm, HP gets some very good technology, its own operating system, some very good people, and the opportunity to be a player again in smartphones on its own terms. Now, it's not the only approach it's going to take to smartphones. It will continue to use Microsoft software. There's nothing stopping HP from using uh, Android, the operating system that Google uh, has developed. It, it needs to have a major presence in smartphones, so consider buying Palm for a little over a billion dollars as part of a portfolio play for HP as it tries to figure out what its place is in what is undoubtedly the fastest growing segment of personal computing. Palm was the leader in PDAs, personal digital assistants, uh, but then faltered against other players including Nokia and Apple hired an ex-Apple executive, John Rubenstein, to revive its product, succeeded in reviving its product, but has really failed in the marketplace, showing just how difficult it is for a small player to swim in these very large seas. The gorilla in the room here is Apple. Apple is the leader in smartphones now. Apple is the leader in people's mind share of smartphones now. Anything that happens in the smartphone space today happens in reaction to what Apple is doing, and HP's acquisition of Palm is no exception.